Hello all Contava users. Welcome to an another video on ODX indicators. This is the tutorial video and this is the tutorial number 2. Uh, we are going to discuss about the ODX profile in this tutorial. If you can see, I have already applied on the charts the ODX profile. Remember that ODX is a third party add-on. So when you are subscribing Contava, you need to additionally subscribe this. When you go to the Contava page, contava.in, you, you have to subscribe compulsory advanced package. It does not work with the light package. And then you, if you scroll down below, you can see the option dynamics indicator. So once you select any package, let us say equity, you need to then click on the option dynamics indicators. Okay, it requires advanced plan. It is mentioned already here. And then you can sign up and buy. Remember to use the code ODX5, which will give you 5% additional discount on this. And you can also subscribe for quarterly and yearly. You have you will get 10 to 15% discount plus additional 5%. All right. So as you can see, I have already applied the ODX profile here, and I will discuss in detail that uh, what are these profiles, and I will also show you examples that uh, uh, where you will get a really good insights uh, uh, in the options that what is happening so let me just remove let me just remove this indicator so first you have to apply this indicator on a spot chart okay you can apply on the futures as well uh, but uh, uh, it is better to use on the spot chart so you can see this is nifty 50 spot chart to apply this you have to click here on this button and you will see uh, you will see uh, the option to search for indicator here you have to type ODX profile and, and if you see there is this ODX profile and there is ODX range profile also. So do not use the ODX range profile uh, for index. Okay. Uh, ODX profile is for the uh, index and ODX range profile is for stocks or you if you want to use the ODX range profile then only use it when the market is uh, in uh, moving in one direction only. So to apply the ODX profile, you have to just double click on this and then it will open with the settings. The main purpose of this video is to also to make you understand the settings that how to properly configure this and it takes almost around 10 to 15 seconds to load the profile because it's a, it's a really big data. So it takes time to load. So wait for 15 to 20 seconds to load uh, the data then you will see two profiles okay however you can customize and use only one profile which i will explain now so uh, let us understand the settings first uh, you can see that there is an underlier option uh, by default it takes the spot and whatever the data uh, that you are seeing here it by di directly pulls from the spot chart if you apply it on the nifty future then you have to select the underlier nifty 50 if you are if you so you you may be applying for uh, you may want to apply it on the nifty future uh, so you can uh, do it by uh, selecting the correct underlier okay then you have number of strikes so here you can select the number of strikes that you want uh, by default it shows 12 strikes and remember that these strikes are selected based on wherever the market is so wherever the add the money okay wherever wherever the ltp is uh, last traded price so then it calculates from there then you have the expiry date do not uh, it, it automatically selects the latest current expiry uh, then you have uh, pair colors text color this is something that you don't have to if, if you want to change it you can but uh, better to use the default one uh, then you have stick to right okay stick indicator to right so when i click on this it sticks to the right okay if this is unticked you can see that the charts are uh, when you move the charts the profiles are also moving so in that case you have to uh, if you want this to be stick you can just click here and then it will stick to the right side then you have show info so if you click on the show info uh, what happens is when you move your cursor on the profile okay or around this area where the data is present uh, you can see that this info will be visible if you move your profiles uh, you know uh, if you move your profiles uh, uh, outside then the data will not be visible so then next uh, you have uh, these options where 
you can also uh, select that whether you want to see these strikes or not so these are strikes which are visible okay you can hide this then you have the option to show the position one or position two so when i say position one and position two that means this is position one and this is position two so uh, you can apply any other indicator we have in odx uh, there is multiple uh, profiles available uh, one profile is say open interest so in case you want both the profiles like this one and the uh, oi profile also so you can have this on position one and the uh, the oi profile on position two for that you need to apply the other indicator which is custom oi profile or oi profile so these are two different indicators custom oi profile and oi profile you in the later webinars we will uh, later videos we will talk about that as well then you have the highlight option so here you can uh, it all automatically highlights the biggest value so if i untick this you can see this yellow the border uh, this border uh, yellow marking shows that these are the high, highest values uh, in this profile then you have highlight thresholds so in case say suppose you want to highlight certain value uh, which could be a uh, very important value say uh, in nifty 50 let us say 10 crores is a really big number so if you see if i click on this particular candle you can see the colors are different okay for uh, for the put side for the call side so the colors are different here okay uh, so negative you can see these are negative numbers so this so that means the selling is happening and the, i will explain this but you can see that it is highlighting the numbers which are above 10 crore but if it's not 10 crore then the number then it shows with the same uh, color default color so let me just go back to so uh, so you can highlight these colors you can change you can uh, you can highlight the values and you can also change the color and you also have another option say you only want to highlight you can keep this as say uh, say you can keep this null as well okay so it will only highlight the values uh, which are uh, which are which are uh, you know whatever the value you select so here you can see that the other other profiles are not not visible so this option is also available for that you have to select the null otherwise uh, or whatever color you choose say for example you can choose another color which may be not the uh, really bright color okay so 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 you know that okay uh, you can highlight the uh, bigger values with a brighter color so this this you can also try this as well okay all right so let me go back to the settings again then you have position one and two so you can interchange the position as well uh, because the profiles this particular profile this profile is called selected candle you can see the first name for this you can see here this is selected candle and this is live i will explain both but the first candle first uh, position is uh, is is uh, the profile which is there is selected candle and the other one is live so if you want to change this so you can just select position two and position one so you can interchange this now selected candle is on position two and live is on position one so you can also see it here live and selected candle for uh, now you you might be thinking that there are a lot of settings uh, these settings you can create hotkeys so you just have to press one button and it will automatically open with the customized settings uh, you can attain the webinar hotkeys webinar uh, that contour conducts mostly on friday or thursday at 5 pm you can conduct that to attain to understand how to create hotkeys or there's already videos also available next uh, there's a profile width so you can minimize this if your screen is uh, uh, is, uh, is a, you have a smaller screen or if you have a bigger screen you can also use maximum however i'm preferring i prefer medium width and then you have data duration now this data duration means so if you see if i click on this candle you see that the, the data is visible here but if i click here uh, the the data is not visible because the data duration the data duration is selected two days only so it will show only data for last two days and these are custom indicators which uh, which works on the latest where you want to check only the latest data you do not want to check the uh, old data once you understand the profiles all right so uh, okay so let us understand that what is this uh, what are these profiles so you can see the first one is the live okay 
so first one is live and another one is the selected candle now if you see on the top this call and put so that means this data represents uh, some uh, call data point and this uh, represents some put put data point so what 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 is it showing this actually shows the net buying and selling okay so when i click on this candle whatever the buying has happened okay it is visible here let me just change this color to back to the green okay all right so this shows that uh, this is the buying the positive number and uh, the negative number shows the selling so in call there can be selling in particular strike say 23 550 there may be buying happening and 23 500 there may be selling happening so the negative data tells you that there is a selling happening of 63.40 lakhs and there's a buying happening uh, uh, of around uh, net 3.23 crore uh, on this particular strike uh, also you can see the put data now this data is important because uh, there are some numbers which tells you that okay a uh, lot of uh, you know some really big activity is happening on these particular strikes and this helps you to trade uh, efficiently so when i click on this particular data let me also remove the, the highlights let me just remove the threshold uh, thresholds so all will be same color okay so now if i click on this particular candle you can see that uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, 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 selling happening in the call and there's a lot of uh, buying uh, happening in the put so uh, this particular candle why this profile is not changing because this is a live profile so this is the latest one so when i click on the latest candle you see the data is same right the data is same you see this is uh, this 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 is same replica right but when i click on this this candle this particular profile is changing because this is a selected candle it is highlighting the candle and the data represented for particular for this candle only so live uh, you may not require uh, and the reason for that is because you can you can say suppose if i if i hide if i let's say let me just untick this if I want to check the latest data, I can anytime click on the latest candle and see the data, right? So live live works real time. Okay, it will show the data, whatever the latest data is. When the market is closed, it will show whatever the latest on last uh, data. Okay, uh, on selecting candle, you can just click on the any candle and it will show you data for that. So in this case, you can ch check as well, right? So if I want to check for this particular candle, you can see the, the, there's something really, uh, you know, uh, uh, something happening because when the market was falling. There was a lot of call selling happening when, uh, so call selling tells you that the market was bearish and at the same time, a lot of buying in the put. Now these are also covering that is happening. So a lot of traders are covering their uh, positions. Okay, a lot of writers are covering their positions here. So this is this is the ODX profile uh, where uh, let me just also hide the info because this I do not want. So let me just hide this. Okay. So this ODX profiles are basically used to understand that it it basically decodes uh, the options activity where you know that big traders what are they doing? Okay. Whether there is really genuine buying coming or not. So for example, let's say if I click on this candle, uh, you can see the values are relatively small compared to this one so a lot of you know there was a lot of aggression here but not not on this candle so so once you start using this on on any time frame you know the, the values matter so uh, for five minute time frame let's say 10 crore could be a really big number okay for one minute uh, say maybe five to six crore could be a really big number so this is this this is something where you have to uh, check and use the profile and understand that what value works in one minute or three minute or five minute uh, but it gives you a really good insight because on the spot chart you get all the all the options uh, it is properly decoding the options data which helps you to take a better trade i might want to be interested in this candle because i know that maybe market will not uh, not easily break uh, this candle now also this data is important because these this is real time and live uh unlike options unlike uh, oh sorry open interest where the uh, where the open interest data comes in up to three minutes this is real time so you don't have to wait for three minutes you can just take trades based on one one minute candle or even 30 seconds candle 
So this is all about the ODX profile. Uh, this was the tutorial number two. I hope this video helped you understand about the ODX profiles. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.